What is up everybody and uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, as you saw by the intro, I am going to be doing a review on the Novrich uh, SSX 303. I've had this gun for about six months now and it's been a love-hate relationship. I'll go over the pros and cons, but first let's just um, maybe get like a little bit of a background, I guess. So, when I, I saw this gun when it first came out, and I actually missed the first batch, which turned out to be a good thing because it had a bunch of problems, and so by this time, the uh, second one, or second batch came around, they had fixed some of the kinks and uh, things that were wrong with it. So yeah, I ordered it. It took like three months to get here, so you know, the anticipation was building, and I was super excited for it. It was my first gun I've ever spent some money on. Um, besides a hundred dollar sniper so I didn't really have anything to base it off of but uh so the first times I've ever I used it um I absolutely loved it I brought it to the field I play at um and had no problems with it whatsoever so the first or the second day after I got it I went to go play airsoft with my friends because we only play once a month at our, our local field and um I realized that the mag, which looks like looks like this, I ordered two mags so I could have, each holds 25 shots, so I ordered two mags so I could have 50 shots each, and um, or like a, a, a clip holder for it and everything. Turned out the, the first mag that I got actually leaked. When I got it, it was leaking. So. That basically rendered it useless, leaving me only one mag and not really feeling like ordering another one just to wait forever for it to arrive, which looking back on it, I probably should have done. So when I was first putting the silencer on, I had a bit of an issue with the foam rings with the silencer. Um, what would happen is they, this thing comes apart in pieces, three different pieces. And when you tighten the uh, only, I'm trying to remember, when you tighten it, the foam rings inside of the silencer actually get like uh, caught in the the uh, grooves and they twist so then when you shoot a BB it actually gets in the way of the uh, of the BB so you just have to be careful with that it's not that big of a deal I haven't had a problem since but I just don't really touch it I don't take it off I just leave it on uh, you have to shoot point fours if not point four sixes unless you're using low powered gas. Um, I use red gas um, and I was trying to use 0.32s and that just does not work. Like your range is, is, is severely limited. So I bought the Novridge scope with it. Um, it has this zoom in feature just by doing this. It's really, actually really handy. Um, you can turn this uh, yeah, turn this on so that um, you can turn on lights on the inside. I don't use them very often unless it's dark out, uh, like if you're in the woods or something. It it shoots pretty accurately. If you if you've seen my airsoft, see my airsoft videos, it far it can like I think I've hit like maybe close to a 300 foot shot before. Um, that's with point fours maybe and red gas. Um, but because it's gas uh, powered, it makes it pretty inconsistent and you only have 25 shots per round. So I use, I use my, that means I get a, I, I have to pay a lot for BBs, but they last a long time because I should go through maybe, maybe 200 rounds uh, or per airsoft day, which is, I think is really low. Like my friends use AEGs and they go three, through 300 around, if not more than that, five, close to 500 sometimes. Move to a different spot and I'll tell you some of the cons and what else I have on this gun. Oh, 
because my legs are killing me. Okay, so here are some of the specs I have, specs, uh, things I have on it. So I have the silencer, the long, uh, the long one. It's, um, you can make them shorter if you want, but I've just kept it long. It actually works really well. Like I have some gas in here, no BBs, and I'll shoot, um, I guess I'll put it right here. Uh, right here. So, uh, yeah, I've noticed that a lot of times it's pretty loud, like, on the field because people are using full auto and yelling and stuff. So I can just, you know, look down my sights and shoot at someone. And even if I miss them, they don't really know where the BB's coming from. And that's super nice to uh, have. It, it's just, I think that's why I chose a DMR or a sniper over an AEG is because you can have that stealthy um, aspect to it, I guess. Um it makes it so much better to be able to see your BB hit them and see the player's reaction versus just, you know, aiming at someone from a distance and just spamming at them and think and only being able to tell if you hit them by when they raise their hand and walk out. But yeah. Um, um, one thing I found that's super uh, satisfying is I'll, I'll put the mic here. That it's just me pulling the trigger like just a little bit a little bit i always do that i don't know if you've heard it in some of my airsoft videos but for some reason when i'm looking through my scope whether or not i'm seeing someone i just go like that it's super satisfying i guess um this is the uh mag release right here and it comes out the mag is decently heavy when you add it you notice the weight added to your gun um it, it's pretty streamlined the uh aluminum or aluminum uh it's like cnc whatever it feels super nice it's pretty uh pretty heavy for um for an airsoft gun like it's pretty hefty um it's not as big as i thought it was gonna be i guess when i was watching the novich videos i thought it'd be a little bigger um has an adjustable stock that i have like about that far um, oh, the safety is kind of weird. So what you have to do is you have to pull the trigger halfway and then you push the safety up and then this, oh, okay. So I guess not pull the trigger halfway and then push up and the safety is not on. My safety might not work. Hold on. Wait. Wait. Okay, I was just doing it from the wrong side. So yeah, you just pull the trigger like halfway and then just push it up for the safety to turn on. Okay, the sun's out. Um, I have a selfie um, mount, I guess you could say, right here. My selfie cam goes here. Normally I would have my, normally I'd have my scope cam right here, but it's, I don't have it on right now. Um, it, it would sit right about here. Um, I did used to have a sling, but it's not the right sling for the gun. The gun has some, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but there's like an attachment right there. And, uh, my sling just went through here and it was kind of annoying. So I took it off. So I just carry it. Um, so now to get to some cons, but let's move somewhere else. Cause I think the sun, yeah, the sun's out. Okay. So. Uh, let me just put this down. Okay, so for some uh, pro pros and cons, I guess. Um, and then I'll just give you my overall feeling. So for the gun. Um, so pros, uh, you can shoot really far. You have uh, It's pretty accurate. Um, as long as it's not super windy. I've hit, like I've said, I've hit uh, like a 300 foot shot. Maybe a little less a little more give or take i'm not really sure um i think we i just chrono this with 0.4s it shoots like just under 300 fps um don't quote me on that i can't remember exactly um more pros oh yeah it's super silent um you know you can watch the bb hit the person it's a dmr uh 
if I would have an extra mag, that would be nice. But I mean, I make do. I shoot 25 times per round, and then sometimes I reload mid round, but you have to add gas. But it's not super heavy. So it's, you can like run around with it still, and it doesn't feel like you're getting tired of holding it. Um, but yeah, I would say. I would say it, it's worth the money if you have the money to spend. Other than that, I would buy a different gun if you are like kind of going out on a limb like I did. Um, I would buy a different gun. Um, now the cons. So this is like a love-hate relationship because I played two months ago and that's the middle of winter uh, out here. And I was playing in like maybe 40 degree weather and this thing shot terrible. Um, really inconsistent, ran out of gas constantly. Um, I couldn't really figure out what was wrong with it. Um, you know, just super mad. I almost made this, I almost made the video just basically not recommending to people or for people to buy it, but I was like, you know what, I'll wait for warmer weather. So I just played this last Saturday and I had a phenomenal time. It shot pretty much perfect. Um, and it was windy that day at the field and I still got quite a few kills. Um, so I guess if you're gonna, if you live in a cold climate or you're planning on using this during the winter, don't. Um, I'm probably gonna buy a second AEG so I don't have to use this during the winter because it's not good unless you have the right gas and the nozzle tip and everything else. Um, my second mag leaks, which is really annoying and also, you should probably have a secondary because this thing packs a punch. Whenever I don't have a secondary on me, so whenever someone gets too close, I just run the other way. Like, literally just turn around and run. <laughs> oh, my legs. Yeah, my legs are set. Alrighty. Thank you guys for uh, watching and... Uh, catch you guys in the next video actually expect some uh, airsoft videos and also more snowboarding videos really soon like hopefully this end of like next week sometime all right see you